Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be quickly going over the Learn Worlds community and features that come along with it. If you'd like to follow along or test out Learn Worlds, I will leave a link down below. If you click that, they do come with a free 30 day trial, which is always a good thing. So, a community is pretty much going to be a section within your website, aka course. In other words, you don't have to go outside of the platform in order to engage with customers or just individuals, depending on if you want to do just customers or not. I'll talk about that a little bit into it. Overall, there's not a whole lot to set up. It's pretty much here's your community and you can post and so on and so forth. So in order to get to it, you would go to the settings section here under learning apps. We have community, which brings you here in case you are brand new with it. It'll see that there are no posts or anything like that. What you can do is click on preview right here. And what I did is just post some uh, something random in there. I'm not sure why, but this edit page bar kind of cuts off where you would be typing there. I'm not sure if that's just my screen or like the dimensions, but uh, hopefully that's better for you. But that's just how it is on my side so as you can see let's do a test and i'm just going to click on share here you can do urls images or polls okay and pretty much just like facebook this is going to be a comment response okay let's do share as you saw there's some going to be here you know you can do yeah it's kind of like a thumbs up or you could do a best of you know if you want to utilize that we know that you made a great post. Let's see what other users think of it. So best of best, something like that. But let's click on the star, kind of like giving it a thumbs up. And of course, we saw our comments. There are going to be other sections here when it comes to friends. Not going to be any yet, of course. Polls and of course, mentions. And last but not least, you can create a group if you want to utilize it that way. But overall, it's pretty simple. It's kind of like a Facebook news feed, if you ask me. But more so, here's going to be some of the top posts here where you can comment on that, ask questions, attach images, do polls and so on and so forth. In my opinion, I think it's great because you don't have to take your customers, your audience off of the platform. For me personally, I don't like using Facebook. I know there's just so many distractions there when it comes to using Facebook, even a lot of the ads and so on and so forth. So, so those are going to be some of the main features when it comes to the Learn Worlds community that's going to be within the platform. There is something else I want to talk about very quickly, and it's going to be more settings with that. So if we click on these settings here, which we're here and go to school settings and then go to community access. So this is where I talked about whether you wanted to make it, you know, for customers or not. So the top one right here says school community. It says, let your learners discuss issues, exchange ideas and tips, share their experiences and advice within a community of practice. So it can be for all logged in users, or it could be only for paying learners or not at all. So that's going to be up to you, kind of the access, how you want to utilize that. So groups creation, you can do let anyone create groups or only admins for that. I'd probably just do admins so it doesn't get too carried away. Uh, courses discussion, yes, and posts get shared to the school community. Yes, but posts do not get shared to the school community. They remain private inside the course community or not at all. So that's going to be up to you where it says, let your learners discuss course issues, exchange ideas and the tips about the course and share their experiences. So where you want it to go, I think that's a nice setting. You have the flexibility of choosing kind of who gets to see it and where it's going to be. Discussion level, you can either provide a common discussion for the whole course or a different discussion for each learning activity. So either have the two options, which I talked about there, which is cool. I'd probably go with just, you know, a discussion for the whole course because it's, I think it's just easier that way. And of course, inbox, you can say yes, let learners send messages to anyone. Uh, yes, let your learners send messages only to admins or not at all. I'd probably just do to admins only so that way you don't get people like spamming or poaching, you know, going in there, taking it and trying like steal customers. This is something that happens on Facebook groups all the time. That's the reason why I even say that in the first place. If you've ever seen it, if you've ever gone to any Facebook group, if you ever posted a question and asked something specific where you were like interested in buying, you'll get like a hundred messages. I kid you not, especially in the groups that have hundreds of thousands of people happens all the time. People complain about it all the time. So that might be a reason why, you know, you do only to admins or not at all. That's going to be up to you. But overall, those are going to be some of the settings and features that come with the Learn Worlds community, a specific section where your audience and of course, customers can talk about the lessons or the courses that you provide and of course, chat with them and so on and so forth. If you want to test out Learn Worlds, that free trial link will be in the description. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My my name is James. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next video.